Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Azadis Fira Ramadani. My ID number 1707075128. Uh, so now I will present my work entitled Formal Statistic Analysis uh, of Patrick Gale Spice Poem. And title is As on a Sunny Afternoon. So before we start about the analysis, first we should know about what is Formal Statistic. Let's check it out. Formal Statistic. In literary theory, formalism refers to critical approaches that analyze, interpret, or evaluate the inherent features of a text. These features include not only grammar and syntax, but also literary devices such as matter and tropes. The formalistic approach reduces the importance of a text, historical, biographical, and cultural context. Formalism, also a school of a literary criticism and literary theory having mainly to do with structural purposes of a particular text, it is the study of a text without taking into account any outside influence. Formalism rejects or sometimes implies brackets or ignores for the purpose of analysis, also notions of cultures or social influence, authorship, and content and instead focuses on modes, genres, discourse, and forms. So this is the general overview and the example of the poem as on a sunny afternoon. About the author, Patrick Gillespie is a poet, writer, and builder living for month. He has three kids, one wife, four ducks, selves, Full of poetry and music, he dreams of a tiny house with views of the sunset in a field of wildflowers. The analysis. This poem from Patrick Gillespie is a poem that expresses his feeling through presuppositions. He showed his expertise in the supposition of words in his poem which contained a sense of wonder about the weather that could change quickly as he was surprised at someone he loved so quickly passed from him who preferred to leave. Then he found a new person again, but still whatever happened, there was not a single match with him. It can be seen that the incident occurred in May, at which time the writer felt the state of weather was very compatible with his NCT. So it can be seen from the poem uh, that the italicized part can be categorized as smile because there are words of parables. Uh, also can be seen from the whole poem. Uh, this poem contains smile form that is form that compares something with other things using conjunctions or comparative words. So this poem can be categorized as a type of elegy poem. Elegy is a general term in literature that refers to poetry or song and poem that contains limitations and expression of sorrow, especially in the event of death. But not only death, the use of the word elegy in poetry and act can also be intended to describe the feeling of loss. So, uh, as on a sunny afternoon can be categorized as elegy because the theme of the poem is a sad theme. So, the objective pick Thin elegy poetry is usually in the form of bitter experience of events that have been experienced or it can also be in the form of regret or something that has been done in the past. In addition, elegy can also be used to express empathy for the misfortune experienced by others. Actually, elegy poetry has existed since the day of Greek and Roman literature at the time of poems with the theme of love, war, and also death were included in elegy poetry. Then, since the 16th century, the term elegy poetry was applied to poetry wailing for one's death. In short, the notion of elegy is a kind of a new poem which contains sadness or tears. So, the conclusion is, I think Patrick Gillespie is very clever to composing the poem, as well as his poem entitled As on a Sunny Afternoon. He carefully packed the word from the first purpose, the comparative sentence he chooses is also interesting and in my opinion, when you read this poem in the in a mood that is accordance with this poem, then this poem will be very heartbreaking considering uh, this poem is them about heartbreaking, sadness or the lose of a loved one who prefers to go in compare survival and when he tries to start a new love, uh, then it's the same, whatever tries to start will definitely end just like that
Patricula's pie makes poem according to the fry girl's state of his heart, and I would have thought the poem uh, he made could produce good things, and he could also inspire many people to write literary works in appropriate circumstances. So this is the end of my presentation. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hmm.